activity so the activity will start now so to perform the activity we need to obtain the downtime from the customer so once the downtime is approved we can bring down the sap application to perform kernel upgrade only application downtime is enough this is also enter may cross check you to perform kernel upgrade only application downtime is enough so application stop chat them to stop application you have so many commands i am using stop sap r3 once again in one more video we'll discuss about start stop procedure i'm stopping the sap system sap application so see here the application server shutdown i logged into this session right this is giving me server shutdown notification so that is done so when we do stop we use clean ipc 00 remove this is up to us few people will use now the first step in the activity which we have to do is stop sap it is done take backup of existing kernel because you may get some issue when you when after upgrading the kernel so how to overcome that you should have some backup so i'll go to this path I'll go to this path one minute So now we are going to so now we are going to take backup of existing kernel. So I'll put the PWD once again. So one step back I'm going. LS L. Continue the backup this now. So the backup CP minus PR I'm using this one space underscore today's date i will put uh, whatever the date is of today like something like this i will put once this is done let's check this so once the backup is completed you need to check one thing the folder size you need to check du minus sh space both folders will be see this both are of same size you need to take one screen of this one as well to make sure you have taken a consistent kernel backup once this is done the next thing is the main thing is copy the file from here to here so i want to copy from this 600 right so we go to 600 so before going to that one more thing some companies may tell you to take local kernel backup also so it's your wish up to your plan whether it need to be taken or not so i'm for that reason i'm taking from here also it is not required but still if some people tell this calls in the mono according to company uh, some seniors will decide that you can't deny that so again when you copy you need to check size b minus sh space exe and check this it is of 1.2 gb fine let it be now again go to cd exe and come one step back and go to kernel 600 what is the path man i'm not getting that path yeah kernel 600 and now write the command pp minus pr because we will have some folders also in this path that's the reason i'm using minus pr 
cp minus pr all files i need to move so star to which path this path after that 9x86 64 enter the copy is done now the activity is completed now run disk plus work you will see the latest version see this now the version is displaying as 600 earlier you ran it as dot slash now you run directly even though it is showing 600 now the copy of kernel is completed now the second step is we have to perform the permission change for few files the files are like icmb and br files like that so br file should have vora sid permissions icmb and should have root permission so we can't change it directly for that in linux there is an additional step called running a script sap root dot sh so initially to run that we should be with root so i am switching to root user once this is done see i am in root navigate to the kernel path you see linux underscore 64 this is the path search for root dot sh file also sorry sap root dot sh with this script you have to run in this way like dot slash sap root dot sh space sid once you do this see br files br archive br backup br connect these file permission will change from sid adm sapsys to uh, or sid sapsys or oracle the actual uh, what it contains the user and group that will come and again one more thing icmb and permission chain sap us uh, ux user check permission will change to root user and root owner so these are the things will happen because of sap root dot sh which is very much important in interview may ask you this point what is the use of sap root dot sh so you have to tell this point as well now the activity is completed just you have to validate it after starting up the system start sap r3 when you run this sap cp will run in backend and it will copy the files to local directory as well uh, if you want to check once sap started we'll check in local directory as well whether sap is copied or not so once sap starts we can check hero itself like whether sap is started or not by using sap control minus nr instant number minus function get process list if it shows displays were green and all green 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 it means sap is up and running so connect to log on bad log into the system and check the status see the kernel patch version is 600 here one more thing i said cd usr sap sid e instant number exe and check the this plus work of this local so dot slash 600 means uh we have to check it before the startup then it may show 500 once the startup is done sap cp will work and it moved to 600 so basically this is the uh, next step like the uh, validation process check in local path check here in two ways like from a system status from sm51 and one more thing maybe your sap is not came up so what is the next step so let us say sap is not started so how to revert it to the old version that is also we'll see here so i'll simply down the sap here you can see the version uh, this thing before starting what is the local version at that point you can see here and then in chip in the end and local key start chase a copy of none and other other mid check chair chicken so i bring down sap he put sap version 600 on in 500 just on a global version and children 
అంటే ఎస్ఐపి అప్ అవ్వట్లేదు అన్న కేసులో ఎలా రివర్ట్ చేయాలనేది హెల్ప్ అవుతుంది ఇక్కడ సారీ సిడబ్ల్యూడి సిడి డాట్ డాట్ ఎల్ సిడి సో ఇక్కడ నేనేమంటున్నాను దిస్ ఈజ్ సిక్స్ హండ్రెడ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ సో ఐమ్ జస్ట్ చేంజింగ్ టేకింగ్ దిస్ అగైన్ యాజ్ అ బ్యాకప్ అంటే లేటెస్ట్ని న్యూ అని పెట్టేసుకుంటాను నేము ఎంబి లైన్ ఎక్స్ స్పేస్ అండర్ స్కోర్ న్యూ అంటే ఇది న్యూ ఫోల్డర్గా క్రియేట్ అయిపోయింది యాక్చువల్ ఫోల్డర్ మిస్ అయ్యింది చూడండి ఇక్కడ ఇప్పుడు సో ఐ విల్ మేక్ దిస్ యాజ్ యాక్చువల్ ఫోల్డర్ బై రిమూవింగ్ ద డేట్స్ ఐ విల్ మేక్ ఇట్ యాజ్ యాక్చువల్ ఫోల్డర్ సో నౌ ఇఫ్ యూ చెక్ ఇన్ సైడ్ దిస్ so the global version is 500 let's check the local version nwd d00 exe ikkada chuste it will show 600 endukante manaki inka sap start chesinaapudu kernel copy jaragaledu sap cp use avatledu so sap sorry uh, start sap R3. Once the SAP starts, you can see now the local path again by running displays work it it came to 500 endukante manaki sap up chesina appudu sap cp run avutundi it will do this thing okay this is about downgrading kernel and you can again log in into the system and check the version system status sorry i have to log out so go through the video if any doubts you can ping in the comments ping in the comment next topic and discuss it amo accordingly we will plan to bring the topic to your channel our channel again we will uh, see meek nachin topic ni manu discuss cheyadaniki try cheyadam okay